Hi everyone, and welcome to Big Ideas Growing Minds. We're so happy you are here. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Your support means the world to us. Today's big idea was originally framed by Merrill Flood and Melvin Drescher back in 1950, formalized by Albert W. Tucker, and goes under the famous name Prisoner's Dilemma. In a nutshell, the Prisoner's Dilemma shows why two completely otherwise rational individuals might not cooperate even when it appears to be in the best interest of both parties to do so. It goes like this. Two robbers are arrested and imprisoned. Each prisoner is in solitary confinement with no means of communicating with the other. The prosecutors lack sufficient evidence to convict the pair on the primary charge, but have enough to convict both on a lesser charge. Simultaneously, the prosecutors offer each prisoner the same bargain. If you will agree to testify that you and your partner committed the crime, you will have the opportunity to reduce your sentence. You should be aware that your partner is in the next room getting the same deal. Furthermore, both prisoners are presented with the following information. If both prisoners decide to betray the other, both will serve two years in prison. If A betrays B but B remains silent, A will be set free and B will serve three years in prison. If A remains silent but B betrays A, a will serve three years in prison and B will be set free. If both A and B choose to remain silent, they will each serve just one year in prison on the lesser charge. Finally, it is implied that the prisoners will have no opportunity to reward or punish the other and that their decision will not affect their reputation in the future. The dilemma that each robber faces is that if they both decide to cooperate and remain silent, they get the least combined jail time. But since A cannot be sure what B will do, he knows that he does best to confess if both B confesses and if he decides to remain silent. Simultaneously in the other cell, B will reach the same conclusion. So each prisoner ends up acting out of self-interest, confess and are either set free or sentenced to jail for two years. The paradox of the prisoner's dilemma is that both robbers have the opportunity to minimize their total jail time if they cooperate and stay silent. But due to the alluring incentives they face separately, both robbers end up confessing, leading them directly to jail for the maximum combined jail time. And there you have it, the prisoner's dilemma. If you are interested in behavioral economics, May we suggest that you also check out our videos on Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman? We hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to give it a like. Take care and see you soon.